challenging antiquated legal precedents, such as the case of Jacobson versus Massachusetts, stands as a crucial imperative. Thank you for the question, um, Congressman McClintock. I think the biggest thing that Congress could do right now is to overrule by legislation the outdated precedent, Jacobson versus Massachusetts. Um, I hear people in this hearing praising it. At, at the time, Jacobson versus Massachusetts was the law. Black people couldn't eat at the same places as white people. People like me from Punjab weren't allowed to buy property in the United States. We've had a lot of outdated laws and, and dark times in our country, and that precedent is one of them. And so when I hear passionate advocates for abortion cited as a constitutional right, it is legally premised on tiered scrutiny under the 14th Amendment, which is scrutiny developed by progressive courts to protect our constitutional rights. And that is all I'm asking for, is that that well-established tiered scrutiny be applied today in 2024 to the problems of 2024, not the problems of, two, of, of well, my 150 time is years very limited, but I'd be very, very interested in seeing your, your suggestions in writing on this subject. Uh, I think the Congress, uh, looking back on this now, can see the folly. Harmeet K. Dillon's stance appears driven by a fervent commitment to champion individual liberties and constitutional entitlements, particularly in the face of governmental overreach during crises. Contemporary concepts of liberty, justice, and authenticity clash against historical injustices and archaic laws, sparking pertinent inquiries into how legal precedents may stifle personal freedoms amidst evolving societal paradigms. Dillon's arguments seem rooted in a stringent interpretation of constitutional rights and the imperative of limited governmental intrusion into private affairs. Proposing a phased investigation in alignment with the 14th Amendment, her position resonates with the democratic ethos of constitutional fundamentalism and individual agency. Repeater Tom McClintock's response reflects a widespread skepticism towards government overreach and underscores the necessity for legislative measures to redress constitutional grievances. His engagement with Dillon's proposition symbolizes a broader societal push to reassess legal doctrines and safeguard individual freedoms through legislative avenues.